Hey guys, and welcome back to the fifth installment of the reviews of the Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors series. I almost said trilogy, I was like, ah, oh, it's definitely more than a trilogy at this point. Uh, but anyways, so this is the one from season six, even though it's the fifth one. And this is the one that had The Shinning, uh, Time and Punishment, and Nightmare Cafeteria in it. So... You can probably figure out from the shinning exactly what it's a parody of, and it's it's pretty cute for being a parody of The Shining. And they even like flat out have a moment in it where uh, groundskeeper Willie mentions to Bart how he has the shinning, and Bart goes, "Don't you mean the Shining?" And Willie goes, "Shh, you want to get sued?" And so I was like, "Ah, nice." But they do have so many nods to the movie, and it's amazing. Um, you really just have to see it, otherwise I will completely wreck it trying to retell it. It just, it definitely does have a charm to it, and I definitely saw this years before I ever saw The Shining, so I kind of went into that movie feeling like I more or less knew it thanks to The Simpsons, so. Uh, time and Punishment. I'm not quite sure if it's a parody of an exact movie or if kind of just, like, time travel as a trope that they played with, but, um, basically, Homer has a toaster that time travels, because why not, right? And it keeps taking him back to prehistoric days, or as he puts it, oh look, the time when dinosaurs weren't in zoos yet. Slow clap for Homer. <laughs> but, uh, he remembers advice his dad gave him on his wedding day, but if he ever travels through time to not touch anything because the consequences could be disastrous. And of course, Homer being Homer, that lasts all of literally two seconds of him remembering it before he swats a, um, a prehistoric mosquito and he goes back to his normal current year. And suddenly it's an Orwellian dystopia where Ned Flanders is basically their overlord now. Lobotomizing everybody. Yep, that's a thing. So he's like, oh, screw this. Time to go back and try to fix it. So he goes back again and he screws something else up. And basically this cycle just repeats over and over. And he screws something up every time he comes back and it's screwed up again. Until he intentionally just goes through and tries to kill, like, everything <laughs> on, like, his last time going back. And he comes back and he thinks things are normal. Till, literally, all his family has lizard tongues at the table. And he's like, eh, close enough. But <laughs> and then, finally, Nightmare Cafeteria. I was like, I know exactly what this is going into it. And it's Soylent Green. I was like, oh my god, yes. Uh, basically... The detention halls are being overrun, and Skinner and the cafeteria lady are like, Oh, if only there was something else we could do with all these kids. And Jimbo Jones is the first one to go down that they decide, You know what, let's just kill him and eat him. So they do. And they make sloppy Jimbos out of him. And nobody's any the wiser at first, until um, the next day, Uter, the little German boy, they decide to come up with something that he needs detention for, and suddenly he disappears. Next thing they know, they're having Oktoberfest in the cafeteria. And they're having all sorts of German food that apparently is made out of Uter. And Skinner tips his hand a little too much on this one and kind of point-blank admits it. And Bart and Lisa are, like, the only ones now who know for sure, and they're trying to figure out what do we do. And, of course, as they're trying to figure this out, kids are dropping like flies as they keep finding ways to give everyone detention. Uh, Mrs. Krabappel is, like, huge at this point because they've been eating all the kids. Uh, it's so gross, but, um, it goes on pretty much exactly how you would assume. Like I said, it's soil and green, it's pretty predictable. And then finally, just like how they wrap the whole thing up, there's like a green fog that gets in through the window who flips everybody inside out. And suddenly it's a chorus line parody. Which as a little kid totally went over my head, but I loved it because it was Broadway anyway. So as an adult, I can appreciate it even more. But <laughs> um, It's gross, but it's, it's cute. It's fun though. So this one, oh, how would I rate this one? I think... 
the um the time and punishment one kind of felt out of place if i'm being honest i didn't really feel like anything that's meant to be scary perhaps well i mean it's the simpsons none of them are like scary scary but i mean you know what i mean like even having the spirit of it trying to be mock scary this one really didn't feel like it i mean it could have been like its own standalone episode just fine and yeah but this one i don't know it didn't feel like it fit with the whole genre of the treehouse of horror stories but the other two are good so i think i would give this one maybe a four out of five because the other two are great but the one in the middle it's always the one in the middle isn't it it just it felt very off i mean it's it was an interesting one to watch but it just it didn't feel treehouse of horror worthy so anyways that's it for this one so as usual you guys know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram my etsy everything and more it's all down below and if you like what i do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating anyway guys till next time bye bye